Good body work there by the Carlton Blues up forward. Casbolt is going to run into an open goal. Casbolt is going to kick it. Levi Casbolt. There is Argo Zero. It's time, God's Zero Nation. AFL Grand Final for the first season of AFL Evolution Coach Career Mode. As you can see here, the Blues defeated the Hawks, went on and defeated the Eagles. The Hawks have managed to come back, and we have coming against Hawthorne in the 2017 Grand Final. Cyril Rioli is the one we've got to keep an eye on, apparently. I know we dropped off with the AFL Evolution uploads, but 2018, we are going to smash it out. Plenty of coach career. We're going to start an AFL women's career mode and a listed player career mode. Vote down below in the comment section which AFL women's team you'd like to see me play as and which listed player you would like to see me play as as well. But here we go. Once again, it is grand final day. The day every if you're new to the channel, guys, there are plenty of other gameplays to go check out. I urge you to do so. Get on board the God Zero Nation by hitting that subscribe button, looking at the Carlton Blues. Very strong lineup. Collaborating with me on the and there's Hawthorne, Josh, Josh Gibson Matthew acting Richard. as captain. Welcome, Richard. How are you, Dan? Now, remembering, guys, I did record this season a little while ago. So this was before the patch came in that changed all the rules and made it a lot more smooth the gameplay. So the next season coming up, whether it be us trying to go back-to-back -back or chasing the Premiership, regardless of how this episode goes, it's going to be post-patch. So everything, updated rules, updated gameplay, everything's going to be coming at you. But the next video for AFL Evolution is going to be our trade period and draft period video. So be sure to check that out. And also let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like to see any particular players drafted to Carlton. I'm going to try and go for a three-peat. If we can win this premiership and then we go on next season and win again, we will do one more season and try to lock us in with the immortals like Hawthorne and Brisbane for a three-peat. But here, there it is. That is what we're playing for, the Premiership Cup. It's what every AFL team strives for every single season. There's the Carlton lineup. They are pumped and ready to go. Now let's turn our attention over to the boys in yellow and brown. There they are. Have a look. Staring them down. This is what it's all about. The Hawthorne lineup. It was a very close match between these two in the first final. And Hawthorne have given Carlton some of the toughest competition we've had all season. So this is going to be an absolutely ripper game. We've got to lay it all on the line here. This is what we're aiming for. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this episode, so I apologize it's taken so long. But I can assure you moving forward, AFL Evolution is still one of the better series running on the channel. So there's going to be plenty more of it coming for you guys. So I hope you're keen to see more. But here we go for the coin toss. Matty Nichols, the umpire. Josh Gibson, Mark Murphy. We have the toss of the coin. Hawthorne kicking to the left of screen. Here we go. First bounce. 2017 AFL Grand Final. Hawthorne win the tap, but Mark Murphy gets the handball on. Turnover to Hawthorne. Numbers there. Cruiser gets it off, but turns it over again. Bryce Gibbs has it. Gets tackled. Cruiser's going to get there first. No, he's not. Handball by Matty Wright. Up forward. Wiedering with a tackle. Petrevsky seaton taps it on. And Hawthorne managed to get the ball out into the centre here by hands. Turn over to the big man, Cruiser, who turns it over again. Chipping ball, Ben McAvoy. Handball over to Jar Roughhead. Gets dropped. Doherty gets handball on. Kick up forward. Wiedering's there. Nice body work. Hits him on the chest. Lace out. Wiedering goes up forward, Levi Kasbold, Shepard, and Petrevsky seaton lining up for the opening score and slots it through the middle. Carlton take an early lead in the grand final. One straight six, plays no score. Good body work there by Levi Kasbold. Back in the middle, Cruiser wins the tap down. Tackle again, 
Murphy goes out to the side with a handball. It's going to get brought back in. McAvoy's got it. Chipping ball up forward. Jared Ruffett's got it. He's going to go a long ways. He's found someone. He's got Paul Puopolo. We're going to have to start looking inside 50, Hawthorne. He's going to kick it backwards, make him pay. Good fist in there. Hawthorne with the numbers. Good tackle there. Doherty's got it. Moves the ball up forward. Weedering's there. Good shepherd. Weedering's going to get to the ball. He's going to get the handball on. Levi Kasbolt's there. Taps the ball on. Very smart play. Handball over to Petrevsky Seaton for number two. Petrevsky Seaton on fire. Two goals straight, 12 plays, no score. Carlton holding nothing back. Carlton with the ball again, but Hawthorne managed to get it out. Burgoyne out on the wing. Hits Yanks. Yanks up forward. What can he work out here? Marked by Josh Gibson at half back for Hawthorne. Jams it on the boot. Out to the wing. Mark Murphy, clean hands in the pack. Moves the ball quickly. And Petrevsky Seaton chipping ball over the top. Who's there? Jack Silvani. He's going to line up for his first. He's been quiet the last couple of weeks, Jack. But he makes no doubt of it then. Three goals straight, 18 plays, no score. Carlton starting to run away with the game early. Hawthorne getting plenty of the ball, but they're not taking advantage when they have it. They get the handball on there. Carlton managed to get out of trouble. Mark Murphy gets pushed in the back and gets done for throwing the ball. That's advantage paid. Murphy gets the handball over. Chipping ball to Kasbolt, who's sitting there on his own. And the big man goes bang. That's four for Carlton in a row. 24 plays nothing, and that is quarter time. Carlton leading by four straight kicks. Mark Murphy getting around the boys as always. Get excited. Carlton have come out absolutely on fire. Effective disposal, 6v6. Cruiser, Mark Murphy, Gibson and McAvoy with four touches each for the respective teams. Second quarter underway. Cruiser's going to win the tap down. Weedering managed to get handball on. Mark Murphy's going to stroll in from Fiddy. Chipping ball forward. Levi gets the hip and shoulder, but it's going to bounce out of bounds. Forward 50. The ball is in the air. Can Carlton capitalise from Batted the contest? Who's sniffing around for a goal? There's normally someone sniffing around these packs. Big handball over the top. Looping ball. Hawthorne have it. And it looks like they might be out of trouble here. Sean Burgoyne takes it just shy of half forward. Chipping ball up forward. Liam Shields plays on. Gets the handball onto Burgoyne, but he's going to get pinned for throwing the ball. Moving it up forward. Off hands by Cruiser. McAvoy goes out long. Good tackle by Armfield. And Carlton can now steady. Up forward to Petrevsky. Seaton, who's taking it? Petrevsky Seaton turning it on. He might be trying to look for Levi Kasbold here. He did. Chipping ball up forward looking for Levi. Might Should have gone back and taken the shot. A little bit too unselfish there. Langford moves the ball to centre half back. Good punch in there. Oh, almost got it over to Levi. But Hawthorne again. I thought they were going to maintain that. Hawthorne turn it over. Murphy with the handball. Captain gets it back. And the captain goes bang. That is five straight for the Carlton Blues. 30 plays, no score. Against a team that was putting on an absolute dominant performance against us in the first final. Ruffhead's got it back. He has a shot. And he misses to the near right. Sam Rowe looking to bring it in. Moves it on long. Good body work there. Kate Simpson, strong hands. Bryce Gibbs with the body work. He's going to turn it over to Tom Mitchell. The pig himself. Ball up forward, off hands. Doherty is at the drop of the ball. Carlton still have the numbers. Cruiser's got it. Handball out to Gibbs. Murphy's there. He's going to rove it. He's going to get the handball on to Weedering. Weedering forward. 
and it might get chopped off. No, it's not. Levi Casbolt off the deck. Six straight, 36, plays one behind one, 35 point domination. Who would have thought Carlton would rock up and put on this type of performance? Picked up the ball. He gets his hands on the Levi's there. The Levi's going to snag it. He tries to tap it onto himself. Daisy Thomas taps it on. Petrovsky Seaton taken high, I would have thought. Handball over the top to Daisy. Daisy's kicked a goal. I thought he hit the post then. I was going to crack the shits, but he slotted it. Right on the half-time buzzer as well. Carlton. 41 point lead at half time seven goals straight who would have thought coming off the back of the last episode mark murphy nine disposals on grand final day by half time now that's not much in real afl terms but going off of the time frame we're doing per quarter here that's a decent effort here we go guys second half underway let's get it on McAvoy wins the tap down, but Carlton's going to stroll out with the ball. Cruiser with the handball over to Wiedering. wiedering has got it at half forward, trying to tap it on. Hawthorne now run it out. Kick up forward in the Puapolo direction. He's got it. He's going to chip it up forward. He's found Billy Hartung. Hartung's got to hit someone inside 50. And he has. Jared Ruffin. Has to go back and kick the goal in order to keep Hawthorne's chances alive. And he misses to the near right again. Now this is on hard difficulty, guys. So as I said, at the end of this season, we will pump up the difficulty. And then at the end of next season, it'll go up again and so on and so on. That's how it's going to get done. But in the meantime, Carlton with two kicks have gone inside 50. Wiedering's got it. Handball over the top. Back to Wiedering. Out to Silvani. Chipping ball to Kasbolt. What a team play. And Casbolt goes bang. Goal number three. Get wrecked. They cannot be stopped. And they will not be denied. Eight goals straight. 48. Plays two behinds. Two. 46 points. Carlton's way. Bryce Gibbs trying to get involved now. Big hip and shoulder off the ball. Come on, Blues. The miracle year. And the team is only going to strengthen with the trade period. Roughhead has kicked three behinds for Hawthorne. Out to the Cade Simpson direction. I'm not sure whether Cade Simpson will play on next year, so this might be a crowning moment for Cade Simpson. Amongst some of the other defenders as well. Another behind for Hawthorne. This is appalling. Good body work there. Cyril Rioli out the back. Diving mark. What can he do with it? They need to start capitalising. Rioli's gone back from 50 with the top. Get out of it, you little bastard. 38 points. 48. 48. Plays 114. But Carlton's already moved the ball up forward. Daisy Thomas taps it on. Hawthorne with the numbers, but Carlton is still there pressing. Hawthorne can control the ball now. Up forward. Good body work by Cade Simpson. The veteran. He wins the contest. Billy Hartung halfback plays on. Handball. He moves it quick. Turns it over. Wiedering's gonna get it. Oh, come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, Murph. Handball inside 50. Can we get a score before the buzzer? Petrevsky Seaton, he was going to have a shot, but the siren beats him. Carlton leading by 38 points leading into the final term. Can you believe it, God's Zero Nation? It's come down the final quarter. Carlton have a secure lead, have not missed a shot on goal all game. Mark Murphy, 11 disposals, three goals to Casbolt. It has been an absolutely dominating performance. Can we get it? They're already pretty much inscribing Carlton's name on the cup. He collects the loose ball. A clean pickup. Hodge with the football. 
Good body work there by the Carlton Blues up forward. Casbolt is going to run into an open goal. Casbolt is going to kick it. Levi Casbolt. He's got four straight. And I'm getting a little bit excited. Nine straight, 54, plays 1 4 10. Mark Murphy is going to have a stroll from Fitty. Oh, Mark Murphy, take a bow. Take a bow. That is 10 goals straight. 10 goals straight, 60 plays, 1 4 10. Good tackle there by Wiedering. No advantage paid. Absolute domination. Mark Murphy again. He's going to have another peg. Mark Murphy's done it again. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong. But the Norm Smith to me seems signed, sealed and delivered. Mark Murphy's name has to be the only name on the tongues of the voters right now. Hawthorne out to the side. Kate Simpson's there. Gets bodied out of it. Rioli's going to get it. He's going to get the handball on. He's got Gunston. Gunston has a peg. And he hits Luke Bruce. And Bruce never misses a shot on goal. Very rarely. But he's done it now. Absolute dismay for Hawthorne. McAvoy's got it. Half forward for Hawthorne. Time's going to beat them. They don't have a chance at coming back now. Carlton have pretty much secured the Premiership. It's just a matter of by how much. Absolutely stoked. Oh, they finally kicked a goal. Luke Bruce off the deck. But it's probably just a consolation goal at this point. 11 straight, 66, 2 5, 17, 49 points Carlton's way. Who would have thought, playing as Carlton, a lot of you voted for me to play as Carlton because they're a team struggling during a rebuild. And we're going to go now as Silvani strolls in and kicks goal number 12. We have just wrapped up a premiership in our first season. Bruiser can really set the tone of the game with his rough work. He just Absolute scenes at the MCG. He gets the ball. Nice accurate handballing. Even under extreme Good tackle there by Bryce Gibbs. He gets his hands on the footy. Moving it on. Cyril Rioli's got it. We're only moments away from the final siren and the crowd is going to go absolutely ballistic. The match is all but finished. Inside 50 for Hawthorne. Off the deck. It's going to hit the post. And with that final shot, guys, the Premiership signed, sealed, delivered. Carlton 2017 Premiers. It is what the whole first season alluded to. Being able to take these guys from the bottom and take them all the way to a Premiership. And we've done it. So the next season, we're going to go try to go back to back higher difficulty as i said guys the next episode draft and trade period i've already worked out who i'm going to bring on board but in the next episode let me know who you want to see brought on for the following season but i will make sure that is made aware in the next episode but guys wow premiers we have won the grand final on hard difficulty as i said next season we will bump the difficulty up to the next level have a look at that Carlton Blues Premiers. Who would have thought those two names would go side by side? Absolutely unreal. I want to thank you all for the support behind the first series, guys. I know we dropped off a little bit with the uploads, but I can assure you moving forward, AFL Evolution will be coming out at least a couple of times a week from here on out. As I said, I want to bring out AFL Women's and Listed Player Career Modes as well. Comment section below. Let me know if you want to see a specific AFL Women's team or a specific That's AFL player played as again, in those again. modes. But 12 straight, 72, 2, 6, 18. 16 effective disposals. Only one free kick paid the entire grand final. 52% on our side for the possession count. Unreal. I seriously cannot thank you guys enough for all the support. Norm Smith, Mark Murphy, second to Kasbolt, third to Petrevsky Seaton. Absolutely unreal. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you for joining me as always. If you have enjoyed this episode and the series and are keen on seeing more, 
Make sure that thumbs up button gets absolutely obliterated. Get on board the God Zero Nation by hitting that subscribe button. Growing each and every day thanks to your support, guys. I really cannot thank you guys enough for all that support. Make sure that notification bell is hit so every time I go live or a brand new video comes to the channel. You get notified straight away. Social media links down below. You know what to do with those. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.